Oh. You guys ready for this one? The Red Dragon Snakebite Peter Wright 57's darts review begins right now. Okay guys, it is darts review time. Now, I may have lied to you guys just a little bit. If you saw the title, if you saw the thumbnail, these darts really aren't the Snakebite 57s. They are, in fact, the Red Dragon Lethal Magic 1 darts. But hey, give me a second here. Have a look at this video over here. Peter Wright was seen using these exact barrels at the Risa International Darts Open. He was also seen using them at the European Grand Prix, as you see there in that clip. And I believe he also used them in Premier League, at least a couple times, right? So um, yeah, throughout the years, Peter Wright has used dozens and dozens of darts. A very fitting name for these would be the Snakebite Peter Wright 57 edition darts. But um, no, I just thought it would make for a pretty good video, especially since Peter has been using these darts recently. And uh, where I picked them up, you guys probably already know, double top darts in the UK. They now carry Red Dragon dart supplies, darts and dart supplies, and um, very affordable as well. These darts fit well within the main theme of this channel where great darts don't have to cost a lot of money. I'm gonna put a screenshot up right here for American customers. And remember, we do not pay VAT right around 23 pounds, which equates to roughly 29 US dollars, which, hey, I think that's a great deal for a set of darts used by a top pro player, professional dart player, right? So um, yeah, great deal. I'll have a link down below, take you over to Double Top Darts or feel free to head right over to the Red Dragon website. Although I'm gonna put up that discount code. I'm not entirely sure if it works with Red Dragon products. You'll have, you guys will have to check it out, but that discount code is gonna save you 5%. Again, link down below in the pinned comments, gonna take you over to Double Top Darts, have a look. And um, what do you say we get into it? Just a fun video today, guys. Nothing too serious. But yeah, let's have a close-up look at the Red Dragon Snakebite. Peter Wright, probably his 57th dart he's ever used. Here we go. Okay, let me show you everything that's included with your Red Dragon Lethal Magic 1 darts. Starting with the packaging, fairly generic stuff here. Nothing too fancy, but that's the box they come in. On the inside, we've got this foam tray. They do come with medium length Red Dragon alloy stems. I'm not a fan of alloy stems, so those are gonna stay there. And we even have a set of Red Dragon Hardcore Flights. Those are standard size. I'm not gonna use any of that stuff for this review. Now, checking out the darts. Of course, I bought the Snake Bite stems and flights separately just to spruce up the video. And you know what? I'm not gonna be using these in the throwing part of the video either. Just not a fan of them. Couldn't get the flights all the way into the stem. So anyway, we're here for the barrels in this video. And uh, the best way I can describe these things is like a Dennis Priestley dart on steroids with this massive bulbous front end and a pretty generic, pretty standard barrel here with the multi rings. We've got black paint. And you know what? I think if I broke out the acetone, remove the paint, these would look even better. We got the black points up front. We've got the Red Dragon logo there. And um, yeah, that's it for the barrels. That's it for the darts, but let's go into the next clip, and you know what's coming. Let's hit you with all the stats and dimensions. Okay, it's time for some rotating stats and dimensions, and you know what? Not all that surprising. The dimensions that I came up with, a little bit different compared to what the Red Dragon website says. So, just goes to show you, don't always trust what these dart shops tell you. Sometimes their dimensions, not all that accurate. Now, with that being said, we're going to start with the points like we always do. This comes with a set of black coated points. They stick out of the barrel 26 and a half millimeters in total. Now, as far as the barrels go, these are 85% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 51 millimeters even. In the barrel width, we got quite the variety here. So let me give you three different widths, starting with this bulbous section up front. These things are chonkers, aren't they? The maximum width, 7.85 millimeters wide. Now, right in the middle of the barrel here at the thinnest section, kind of an indentation there, to be honest with you. They taper down to six millimeters wide. Now, right about starting right here, all the way to the stem, they are 6.2 millimeters wide. So yeah, there is definitely a thin spot right in the middle of the barrel. Now I did unscrew the stem, checked out the drill depth. These are drilled out 14 millimeters deep in the back end. And as far as the match weight goes, hey, Red Dragon, they're always killing it. 
quality control here, just about as good as it gets. These are advertised as 21 grams, the lightest barrel, 21.08, the next barrel, 21.09, and finally, 21.10. So yeah, only two one hundredths of a gram from lightest to heaviest. That's just about as good as it gets. Well done, Red Dragon, but let's go into the next clip and tell you all about the grip. All right, guys, let me hit you with a quick grip level here. And as you would probably suspect by just looking at them, yeah, not the most grippy dart. And uh, matter of fact, kind of slippery, to be honest with you. I kind of wonder if I remove the paint, I wonder if it would improve the grip. Comment down below. If you own these darts, have you removed the paint and has it improved the grip? But regardless, even if you did remove the paint, I think it's still going to be pretty slippery. I'll go ahead and say grip level two on a scale of one to five. Yeah, there's no sharp edges or anything like that. So yeah, very low grip level. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I'm not a fan of these foil flights. I'm not a fan of these Nitrotech stems. So for the throwing part of the video, how about we do this? We've got some Winmore Fusion flights. Now, since Winmore, Red Dragon, kind of all the same company owned by Nodor, we're just going to use the Winmore Fusion flights and throw them exactly like you see them. Hey, that looks pretty good though, right? So um, yeah, let's get them on the board, have a few throws, and hopefully throw them maybe a little bit better than Peter Wright's been playing recently, right? So yeah, let's have a few throws. Here we go. Okay, guys, let's see how this one goes today. If you look at the clock there, it's a little bit later on in the afternoon. When I hit the 180, it was much earlier today. I've been sitting down watching the Premier League. Some amazing matches today and um, can't wait to watch the final. But yeah, I've been throwing these off and on all afternoon. I got to say, they work really well with the Winmore Fusion flights. Obviously, they're not grouping all that tight with short points in a near 8 millimeter wide front end. But... As far as throwing them, they, they feel great. My grip, point of finger and thumb, right behind the bulbous section, kind of right on the thin part of the, uh, thin part of the barrel. And uh, man, yeah, it does feel thin there, right around six millimeters wide. So here's what we're gonna do today. Let's make things as difficult as possible. Those are the checkouts. We're gonna start with 82, 92, 102, 112, and 122. So I'll be shocked if I even get one of these, so. Let's see how this goes. But yeah, with, the, um, with my grip right behind the bulbous section, yeah, these things feel, you wouldn't think a dart looking at it would be so thin, but yeah, they feel like toothpicks right in the middle of the barrel. So 82, ooh, we're gonna start on the bull. 60, um, 57, don't miss the big number. Whew. And tops. Uh-oh. I really needed to make that one. Now things get kind of tough. Might get shut out today. 0 for 5. Yeah, the grip feels nice. Again, I would suggest removing the paint. It would probably improve the grip a little bit. 92. We're going to go right at the treble 20. A little bit high. Um, double, double. How about... Oh, uh-oh, it's looking like an O for five. I don't think I've ever been shut out in one of these reviews. This might be the first. 92, 102. I'm going to throw it to 20s. That way, if I miss to the left or right, still pretty good. Just stay out of that trouble one. Now, two darts in hand, 82 remaining. Bullseye or the trouble 14? Throw at the bigger target, so trouble 14 it is. And that, uh-oh, 0 for 3. This is looking grim. 112, you can either go 18s, 418s for tops, or 420s to leave 32. I'm going to go the 32 route. Oh. Hey, I got one now. Hey, pay attention here. If the opponent, if you're under pressure, you just threw a treble 20 with a first dart, don't risk busting your turn. So I can throw at the 20 again. There's a chance that I could hit another treble 20. So we got to just don't risk the bust. So now I'm going to switch things up. Go 12, 4. Oh, I made one. <laughs> All right, we got 112. Hey, can you see that on the camera? Oh yeah, I guess you can. Whew. I was not shut out today. The good old snakebite 57s didn't let me down. 
Now, uh, 122, a couple different ways you can go here. Obviously, most of us are going to throw at the 18s, four 18s to leave the bullseye. If the opponent is way back, you could throw at the bullseye with the first dart. I don't know if it's beneficial, but we're going four 18s. Right on top of that one? Nope. Double? Nope. Hey, we got one out of the deal. <laughs> Not too bad, right? We'll take it. But um, yeah, honest to God, guys, um, I am having a bunch of fun throwing these darts. It's really nothing that I would search out to use for myself. But hey, a little customization here. And you've got a great set of darts. Again, longer points, um, trident nose cones, and uh, maybe remove the paint. And I think you've got a pretty good set of darts under 30 bucks. Not too bad, right? And you got a set of darts that Peter Snakebite Wright uses. So uh, with that being said, I did manage a 180 earlier in the day. So enjoy that. We'll do a quick wrap up. Let's go. Whew. I got to admit, that was not an easy 180. I started recording at 12.17, so I have about 18 minutes for that one. Um, the front end of these darts, they just take up a ton of real estate, especially with these short points, but whew, we got it done in the end. Boom. <laughs> got to admit, that was a um, pretty good group, though, considering almost 7.9 millimeter wide darts, but there it is, guys. Got it done in the end with the Red Dragon Lethal Magic 1, Snakebite 57s, you decide, but there it is. Hope you enjoyed this fun video. If you did, thumbs up, always appreciated. However, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of these darts. Hey, let me know what you thought of this fun video and uh, let me know if you're considering purchasing a set. Now, again, reminder, I'll have a link down below in the pinned comment. You can either pick these up at Double Top Darts, where I bought them, or you can take yourself right over to the Red Dragon website. Either or, I guess it doesn't matter, right? And um, don't forget, that discount code may or may not work with Red Dragon products. I'm not sure, but hey, it's worth a try anyway. It's going to save you 5%. But now comes the time of the video where I give these a recommendation on how well I think they may work for a recreational dart player. Now, it's a bizarre shape, let's be honest here. And as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, this particular shape, the Lethal Magic 1, it's only available in 21 grams, which these are, and 25 grams, which is odd. I'm, again, I may be wrong about that, but they're at least available in 21, 25 grams. And um, I don't know, I just think it's a bizarre dart. Probably is not gonna suit most recreational dart players. However, that price kind of factors into everything. Less than 30 bucks. Decent set of front-loaded darts. I'm going to give them a score of 6.5 out of 10. I think that's a fair score considering it is a pretty good deal, right? And it's Red Dragon, high quality as always. But that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that 180. I actually had to work for that one. So until next time, we'll catch you on the next video. Later. Bye.